Well, hello. Um, so I did this video yesterday where I had a look at some of the claims made by Dell from Beyond the Imaginary Curve and the response has been quite huge. I mean, it's less than 24 hours and it's had almost 2,000 views. Huge amounts of comments on Flat Earthers mostly. It's astonishing that this... It really shows that this guy has a bit of a following. Almost a bit like a cult, really. Now, if you look through the comments, not one single flat earther actually addresses anything that I say in the video. They just insult me, havering twat, or they accuse me of being a coward because I'm not prepared to go on one of his silly hangouts. Um, Dell himself responded just with nothing at all. He didn't respond in any, in any way to anything I said. Um, now, in this video, I'm going to have a look at a video that he put up today about me and just explain how profoundly dishonest it is. Uh, before I do that, I want to call your attention to a video that someone linked to my channel uh, from Gem Panda 2012 or 2012 or whatever you, what he calls it. Um, it's excellent. He put it up 14th of February. It's called De Debunking Dell's Dogmatic Drivel, a close look at the Flat Earth Street Evangelism. Um, he pretty much says everything that I've wanted to say about Dell, and he says it brilliantly. So I highly recommend watching that video. I'll put a link to it in the title, um, in the information, sorry. Now, Dell put this video up about me, where he does quite a good impersonation of me, to be honest. You claim that it's just not true. I mean, what do these deniers want? I'm offering valid scientific proof of the... Um, now, Dell... Um, oh, I don't know how much I want to go into that, but there's... Uh, Dell's obviously from a very different part of Scotland from me. We have different accents, and he's also mocking the fact that I'm not... I don't have a, a working-class Scottish accent like he does. Um, so it's, it's pretty nasty. I mean, I could impersonate his accent. I wouldn't do that. I mean... I just, you know, measurable, detestable, and I hate about not. I mean, see, I wouldn't do that. It's just nasty. But, um, and he calls me wee Jimmy McCranky. The reason he does that is because I referred to him and his mate as Francie and Josie. Now, if you're not Scottish, you won't know who Francie and Josie are. They were a, a comedy double act in the 1960s, and they enjoyed a revival in the late 1980s. And they had a kind of dynamic between them where they were both completely clueless about everything, but one of them, Francie, looked up to Josie and hung on his every word as if he was like a genius. And I just thought that Marty and Dell had such a similar relationship that I called them Francie and Josie. I only ever called them at once as a joke. And Dell, typically, in typical Dell fashion, didn't take it personally, didn't get emotional, so he made a 43-minute rant about me because of it and said that it was a logical fallacy. No, no, it wasn't a logical fallacy. It was what's known as a joke. Um, anyway, what he's doing here is he's implying that all I do in my videos is do a drawing of a spherical Earth and say, look, I've got a drawing of a spherical Earth. Therefore, the Earth is a sphere. Now, I challenge Dell. Find one video where I actually do that and I'll take it down. You show me the video where all I do is do a drawing of a spherical Earth and claim that that means the Earth is a sphere. I don't do that anywhere. And this is a deeply, revoltingly dishonest portrayal of what I do on my channel. Let's get this clear. This guy has revealed what a liar he is. He's a total liar. He's a manipulative, dishonest, in my view, emotionally abusive, psychologically abusive and dangerous character. Now, on the issue of me going on his show, why would I? He's a liar. And my general policy on interacting with flat earthers is don't bother. All right, I have nothing to prove to flat earthers. I've been down that path. I first came across this three years ago. And for a year, I argued with flat earthers online. I had discussions that lasted for hours and days even. 
You could discuss flat earth with a flat earther every day for three months, explaining to them why the earth is a sphere and explaining to them why every single one of their arguments are wrong. And they'll be online the next day saying the earth is flat and there's no evidence for a spherical earth. As far as I'm concerned, trying to explain to a flat earther why they're wrong is like trying to explain to a patient in a lunatic asylum why their delusions are wrong. You will get nowhere because the patient will have constructed an airtight fantasy around themselves that is impervious to any encroachment from reality. It doesn't mean they're right. It just means that they've constructed a very powerful fantasy that self-defends itself. And that's what flat earthers have. And if you look at... I mean, looking at the comments, it's just astonishing that you have these people online who are fanatically committed to this premise when they have nothing at all. There's nothing behind it. Every single flat earth argument is wrong. Between myself and other people, we've shown this over and over again. They have nothing. It's a comedy. So, no, I'm not interested in going on some hangout. I did one hangout about a year ago. And the guy came on it that was on that goes on Dell's hangout sometimes called Mindfulness. The guy from Liverpool. And I, the hangout is gone, so I can't be linked you to it. But I, I had quite a long discussion with him, and it was quite civil to be fair to him. And I explained to him clearly why all the things he said were wrong, very clearly. He had no comeback. And yet a few days later, I saw him on Dell's channel on the, the video that Dell put up about me, sneering about me and sneering about the hangout that you had with me. And I just thought, what was the point? What's the point in having civil discussions with these people, explaining to them why they're wrong? They're a joke, okay? Flat Earth is a joke. Flat Earthers are a joke. That's my position. My position is I'm here just to explain why it's a joke. I don't even care what people, what Flat Earthers really think. I do this to make it clear to other people that this is a toxic lie. It's a dangerous, toxic lie that is actually having a real detrimental impact on real people's lives. It's not funny. And to perpetuate something as dishonest as this is, in my view, dangerous. The thing is with these people is that they're the kind of people that, that modern Western culture and science has really managed to marginalise for hundreds of years now. For most of the last few hundred years, these people have been marginalised and just shown up for what they are, cranks. Now, when people are marginalised by science, then they tend to start to claim that science is a conspiracy or it's a dogma or it's an ideology and it's, it refuses to acknowledge their beliefs and there's a huge conspiracy against them. I mean, whether it's an incredibly unsophisticated crank like Dell or a very sophisticated crank like Rupert Sheldrick, um, it's still the same. It's still a crank claiming that science is a, is a conspiracy against them. Um, but the internet is facilitating these people and they're managing to get together and perpetuate this lie and create the illusion that the earth is, is flat. These are the kind of people who thousands of years ago would be out loose in the desert convincing people of all kinds of crazy stuff and starting religions and cults. These are the people that got religions going. They're fruitcakes. Uh, so no Del, I'm not appearing in your hangout. I think you're a worthless liar. I can't even describe how little respect I have for you after doing this video. I'm going to go through my videos and explain why you're wrong. I mean, there's some examples of videos where I've used diagrams. And what's wrong with using diagrams as well? That's all I get from flat earthers. You're using diagrams. People have been using diagrams for thousands of years to demonstrate things. What's wrong with a diagram? The diagrams are there to illustrate information. Now, in this video, I, go, I show how you calculate the distance to the horizon. And I go in to explain why you wouldn't expect to see curvature on a sphere this big but you would expect it to be a horizon. In this video, what I do is I discuss how both the flat earth and the spherical earth model 
cope with in real life information about the direction the sun rises and sets. And I explain that the spherical Earth model can account exactly for what we see, and the flat Earth model can't do it. There is no flat Earth model which can explain what we observe the sun doing. It doesn't work. Now, Dell always goes on about, oh, I don't endorse any model. There's a good reason for that, Dell. It's because there isn't one. Let's be honest. Okay, you're not being honest by saying I don't endorse a model. The truth is there is no model that works. There's no map that works. And there's no path the sun could be following above a flat earth that can make the sun rise south of east and both, no sorry, and both north, north of east everywhere on earth and rise east and set due west twice a year on an equinox. The spherical Earth model explains that. So these diagrams I'm using, I'm connecting them with real life information. The diagrams are illustrating ideas. It's the same here. These diagrams are connected with real information. I'm illustrating how they connect with real life observations. They're not just drawings. I've not just said, look, there's a drawing of the Earth. The Earth must be, must be a sphere. That's an incredibly, profoundly dishonest misrepresentation of everything I've done on my channel. And the guy is a complete liar. Same here. I've gone through um, how, the, again, how there's no way you can account for the length of days that we observe at the equator. The, on the equator, you get 12 hours of daylight. There's no flat earth model that can account for that. It, it doesn't exist. Again, here, I'm using diagrams to demonstrate ideas to show that flat earth arguments don't add up. Now, in a lot of my videos where I am using maths and geometry, and a lot of the times I'm not really proving the earth is a sphere. What I'm doing is I'm going through flat earth arguments and showing why they're wrong. I have some videos where I go through the evidence supporting a spherical earth, but in a lot of them, all I'm really doing is just analysing flat earth arguments. Now, flat earth arguments really are always of the form, I would expect to see this on a sphere. We don't see this, therefore the earth isn't a sphere. That's the, that's the extent of their argument. There's no analysis. They never, ever actually analyse the geometry of a sphere and say, yeah, you would expect to see curvature from left to right. Now, I've proven that you wouldn't, and I'm going to make another video showing very clearly again, you would not expect to see curvature on a sphere this big, but you would expect things to be obscured by the horizon, and that is not a contradiction. Again, another video where I've connected diagrams with real life information. I'm talking about the equinox. So Dell, I challenge you, you find one video of mine where I've all I've done is drawn a picture of a spherical Earth and said, I've got a picture of the Earth being a sphere, therefore it's a sphere. You show me one video when I do that, and I will remove it. And if you can't, do you have the courtesy and honesty to, dismiss, to, de to delete the totally misrepresentative video that you made about me today? Have you got the decency and honesty to do that? I doubt it. Because you're a liar. You're a, you're a manipulative liar. Right. Now, what I wanted to do was really talk about gravity because one of the things Dell does in his videos is he always says, um, shows examples of gravity. But um, I think I've talked too long about just Dell and my videos and stuff like that. I think I'll just do that on another video. So I'll just cut this one off just now and post it up and then I'll think about doing the gravity one later.